Hello and welcome to this demonstration video. My name is Kai Keeley. I'd like to introduce you to the SNOMED OWL toolkit and demonstrate how to use it to convert a SNOMED RF2 release into an OWL file which can be loaded into ProjJ. This is the SNOMED OWL toolkit which is available at github.com under the IHTSDA organisation. I've created this um, open source toolkit to make SNOMED CT to OWL conversion and the classification process um, simple. Uh, this uh, I'll give a bit of background about the toolkit. Um, it is used, as it says here, in the international authoring environment. It's backward compatible with all past RF2 releases and will be forward compatible with all future releases. New versions of this tool will be produced as new description logic features are added to SNOMED CT, for example, um, if we add concrete domains or anything like that, um, the, the toolkit will be updated and a new version will be available. Um, the toolkit is a Java library, some of the capabilities are listed here, um, but it's also um, some of the functionality is available on the command line, which we'll be using today. So we'll be focusing on the RF2 to OWL ontology conversion. A um, little bit of details, it, it uses the, um, the MRCM attribute domain reference set for the grouping information for conversion of the state of relationships. Uh, it uses the new OWL axiom reference set um, to build up the ontology. Um, it can include FSN annotations, which is useful to um, see uh, what the concepts are called when you're looking in Project um, and there's support for SNOMED additions and extensions. So let's move on to the demonstration part on um, the command line use. So the first thing we need is we need to um, make sure we have Java installed um, on your system. I won't cover that, there's, there's plenty of documentation online of how to install Java. Um, you need some modern version, um, anything um, Java 1.8 or above um, will be fine. We also need to download the executable file from the latest release page. Let's go there now. So the latest release will be marked with this green symbol. It may not be 1.5, uh, but whatever the latest release is, download the executable file here. I've done that, so I'll go back and continue. Here are the full um, command line options for this file. We can classify or do RF2 to, to our conversion. We can supply one or more um, zip files containing the RF2 snapshots. And um, we could also provide a Delta Archive. So today we're just going to convert the international edition. So we'll just provide one zip file containing the RF2 snapshots. If we were to classify an extension, then you should provide the international edition in one of the, the zip files, and then after a comma, um, provide another zip file containing the extension RF2 snapshots, and the tool will um, read all of the components and check the effective times, and um, whatever has whatever component has the latest effect, the effective time will be loaded in case there's any overlap in components between the international edition and the extension. Um, a Delta archive can be given if you're running classification um, after release time, um, maybe during an authoring cycle, or you just want to try something and you can provide a Delta to provide new states of existing components or new components. So. Um, these uh, parameters are also relevant for the OWL conversion. The URI of the OWL ontology defaults to um, the identifier for the international edition that can be changed. Um, the version um, stamp which comes out in the OWL ontology can also be set and defaults to today's date. Um, this flag will um, make the file size smaller but you'll get no FSNs um, so it's probably not a desirable thing to do. So, um, here's a summary um, and a short version of what we need to do for the OWL conversion. I'll switch over to the command line. 
I'm on a Mac, so I'll be using the terminal. And I've got a directory here. I mean, it's a bit bigger so you guys can see. So in here, in this directory, I have the jar file, which we downloaded from the latest releases page. And um, I'll follow the guide. So we need Java minus jar. Um, we give the name of the executable. And we need rf2 to owl, which is the thing we want to run. Um, classification is the other one we can do. Then we'll give the snapshot archive, rf2 snapshot archives and in this list we're just going to have one archive. Now you need to have a Snowhead International Edition um, or some edition um, on your local machine to use this. So I'll give the path to um, the file on my machine. I have um, the uh, July 2018 beta here, um, which is the first edition with the our Axiom file um, inside. That's a good one to use. So I'll, that all looks straight. I'll, I'll hit enter. And um, as it says here, after about a minute, the owl ontology will be written to um, this owl file inside the same directory. If you're running on um, Java version 10, you may see some warnings here, um, and that's due to the OWL API, um, which is developed by Stanford University. Um, they're still in the process of upgrading their, um, their Java libraries to uh, Java 10. So when those are available, um, this tool will be updated and uh, those warnings will be removed. But, um, I can I can uh, say that they're they're safe to ignore um, for now. It's not doing anything uh, anything bad. Um, so the tool is has read all the um, RF2 files, um, the relationships and the axioms. It's building the ontology. Um, it's picked up the list of uh, never grouped um, attributes here from the MSM reference set. And here it's written out the our ontology file. So uh, let's we could have a little look at it. So the file has um, some headers, um, has the ontology ID here and the ontology version. Um, as I said before, this is defaulted to today's date. Then we have a long list of declarations. I'm going to um, search a bit later in the file. Here we get to um, some of the more interesting stuff. We declaring all our attributes. Um, you know, later on, um, we get into the the, the proper axioms. Um, let's load this in ProjectJ to complete the demonstration. Here's our our file. It's about um, 120 megabytes, and uh, a lot of that is the um, the FSNs, the FSN annotations. So we'll double the file size. This will take uh, about a minute to load. I think um, it's a fairly um, large ontology. Um, so um, I'll sh I'll show you that again when it when it's loaded. Um, I just wanted to mention if you find this uh, repository useful, um, please uh, give it a star here on GitHub, which helps other people to um, find the toolkit. Let's come back to Project J. I think I'll fast forward the video here. It looks like Project J has loaded the ontology now. We switch over to the Entities tab. We can see um, all our top level hierarchies with the FSMs there. So 
Okay, that's all I wanted to show you. Thank you very much for watching.